Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. I have the day off today. As I told you yesterday, I'm going to film with Casey later and just going to town and do a little bit of shopping. Morning. Morning. Say morning. I need to have a shower and wash off my self tanner. I have quite bad dermatitis on my arms at the moment. Oh, just don't know. Oh no, I grabbed my arm in my sleep. Do you see that tan mark? <gasps> no, I hope that washes off. How annoying. But I don't know if you'll be able to see. It's more so on this part of my arm. It's like all little patches of dermatitis and it gets really itchy it's frustrating here's our tree close up and these are the things i was talking about last night so they're literally like on a stick and they fill the tree so like that would be an empty space but you just poke her on in there and it makes it if i can get it back looking pretty oh go in it just like fills the spaces and looks so pretty. I love them. So I've got those ones. I've got a few of these, which like fully stick out. Um, and then I've got some of these pink ones down here, which are gorgeous. So I want to go back to the Christmas warehouse and get like a few more to fill up, to fill up probably this tree and the one in the beauty room. So most of these baubles, like all of these ones, the pink ones, the charcoal -y color ones are from Target. These ones are from Big W, these rose goldy leaves. These ones are from Target as well. I have a few that are from the Christmas barn out in the snowy, snowy country. So this one's from the Christmas barn. Um... We did have another one, but I don't know where. Um, these birds are from Big W last year, which are really cute. This is from, I think, Trade Secret, maybe? Um, my tinsel's from the Reject Shop last year. And the star on top is Kmart, and the actual tree itself is Target. Um, and yeah, I just really love the snow frosted look. Um, and the tree skirt is from Kmart. This little Santa is from the Christmas warehouse. So he looks so cute. Once like I clear all of this crap. Oh, our stockings fell down. Only Luna's stayed up. Yeah, once I clear all of this, I can like, like have this area looking a bit nicer. This is like the stairwell. So it's a spiral staircase. It's scary as hell. I always nearly fall down it. Um, but there's like this wall here. I've got a wreath up there that lights up. That's from Kmart. Um, and then it's got this random like space. So I got this garland from my work. Actually, it's one of our work decorations and we weren't using it. So um, one of the girls gave it to me and I've got some lights through it, so it looks absolutely beautiful when it's lit up. Um, so yeah, that's like a little lounge room Christmassy tour. Um, oh god, I nearly dropped the camera. Alright guys, so I've decided I'm gonna film a video. So, I need to do my hair, get myself a drink. Um, I'm having so much problems, or so many problems, with my sciatica at the moment um i get it really bad in my left side but at the moment it's even in my right um my right leg's not too bad but at the moment it's pinching so much that it is making my left leg numb <sighs> so it's not constantly numb and it's not completely numb but it is enough that it is going numb and that's probably not okay so Gonna have to book in with my acupuncturist and if she can't sort it out which she normally can for me um, but if she can't sort it out this time I will have to 
get into the doctors. Look at this girl. Oh, don't fall off. Don't fall off. Don't you fall. Huh? What are you doing? You are so pretty. She's loving the new nails because they scratch her real good. They scratch you real good. Huh? All right, two videos filmed, a whole lot of sweaty mess I am. It just gets so hot filming. And I, like, this is my camera, which that little light doesn't look like it does much. It's pretty bright and it's freaking hot. This is my setup, like, my camera is up there, but I have to have this little table and I just sit on this chair. Um, but I need to get a bigger one because it just doesn't fit enough stuff, but yeah. Anyway, so as I said, I filmed two videos and it's just freaking hot. I'm so hot. I'm just pretty much waiting for Casey now to be finished her editing and stuff and then we can head into town and go do a little bit of shopping. This makeup look I filmed so it will be up sometime soon and I also filmed my own November favourites which will probably go up before this makeup look because yeah I kind of need to get that out soon. I just walked past and look where the little kitty sleeping. Ah <gasps> did you wake up? Hi hi are you sleeping under the tree like a present? That is the cutest thing ever. Oh, she's so cute. I love her. Just with Casey. There she is. She's not paying attention. We've just come to Pet Barn because I need to get more flea tablets for Luna. And we'll just have a look at everything. Just um, $120 for a dog bed. No big deal. Puppy <laughs> it's so oh my god, look at the hats. It's a bandana. <laughs> oh, so cute. They have Christmas um, clothes actually, I think.
guys, so it's later now. Um, I'm home, obviously, freaking so hot and so tired. I can't even explain how fucking hot it is. Oh, excuse my language. Let's just look at the temperature. It is currently 33.3 degrees Celsius, which let's just convert that to Fahrenheit because I know a lot of you are from the States. Okay, so 33, 33 degrees Celsius is 91.4 Fahrenheit. So basically just over 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's pretty freaking hot. So that's my shopping bags. So I spent so much money because of Luna's tablets. You little cat. She's over there getting the sun. Lunes. Hi. Hi. Look at her paws. She's just so cute. Basically, I haven't told you guys what happened, but when we moved into this house, the previous people who lived here had two cats and a dog. And they had birds, but that's besides the point. Um, and I am assuming that they had a flea problem because when we moved in, in the entire time that we had her in our old place, she did not have fleas once. And I've studied animal studies um, and I'm very well aware of how to take care of an animal. Like, um, I wouldn't get an animal without knowing how to take care of one. I just need to swap arms. Um, so I, you know, fleed and wormed her every single month like I meant to. I feel like I've got eyelash glue in my eyelashes. But then we moved here and she started scratching and when I checked she had fleas. So I ended up treating her twice with her normal um, treatment and she, like, we had this big dispute with the, the guy who came and did the pest control when the previous people moved out. He claims that he saw no fleas in this house and that he basically blamed us and said that we brought the fleas into this house. And I was just like, no, you are wrong. Like I said, I'm telling you that she has never had fleas before. We moved here. Long story short, the guy came back and we basically bombed the whole house um, and fumigated it ourselves. Um, so we did five bombs throughout the house. We had to lock Luna away. Um, and then the guy came back the following week and bombed it again with three more bombs. Again, I had to lock Luna away, the poor little thing. Um, so there's no more in the house because we did like the trick where you put the shallow bowls of water in every room because apparently that attracts the fleas and they drown themselves and you can see where they're coming from. Um, so we didn't see a single flea, but she is still having them like she doesn't have many, but there's still a couple on her every few days. And I'm just like, is this what it's like to be a mum when your kid keeps getting head lice at school? Like, and for anyone who knows me, I have a huge, huge phobia of anything that can basically infest your house, your body, your head, anything like that. So fleas, lice, scabies mites, um, cockroach, like anything that can in multiply and infest, like ants, all of those kinds of things that are little and they just, there's so many of them, like that just freaks me the fuck out. I can't deal with it. So yeah, that was a really long story and I'm so sorry if that was really boring, but basically the point of that story is that I just had to spend $96 on these tablets um oh, so yeah these are apparently the very best ones I know when I used to work at the vets we always recommended these um so yeah they're just chewable tablets I'm gonna try and get her to have one in a second but yeah $96 for six chew chewable tablets so the price you pay to have a pet guys they are not always fun and games. Are you loons? Got my packages ready to show you. I'm super excited. 
Um, I'm really sorry if the aircon is loud and it irritates you, but it is too hot for me to not have it on right now. I just gave Luna the tablet. I tried to get her to just like eat it and she just was sniffing it and like rubbing against it. I was like, oh. So I had to pick her up and shove it down. Like if you know how to give tablets to a cat, you have to open their mouths and put it right at the back of their mouth. Um, so they just swallow it and she wasn't very happy with me. But she's okay now. Are you okay now? Yeah. Anyway, so the first things I got, well, what is this? Tis the season to be glam. So that's just a little Sephora card. And, oh my gosh. Can I do this one-handed? Probably not. Okay, so I got two things. The first thing I got is this crayon what is this I don't really know what this is called but it's basically a heap of the Tartus lip paints like little mini sizes and then a heap of the lip liners so you get two for five of each so I am super excited it's like pretty good color range it's got reds it's got the burgundy got a nude um yeah so that is the first thing i got and then the other thing i got is actually a blush palette oh, how pretty is this packaging oh my god this packaging is like everything oh my god this is no joke the prettiest thing i've ever seen in my life holy shit so you get 10 colors in here okay I'm so so happy I got this it's absolutely stunning and the packaging is like something something else cannot wait to use those cannot wait um and then I guess I'll show you from the Christmas where Christmas Christmas warehouse I got a heap more of the pick things that I was talking about earlier so I got more of these pink ones I got oh god some of these ones but in silver um, so I think I got three of those and then I got some more of the champagne gold ones no that's a silver that one so that's the champagne if my camera will focus there we go um so i got more of those um i don't know if i'm going to put them all in the tree or use some of them for what i'm going to show you we went to spotlight so i got this massive piece of tree garland um it is this green Christmas PVC pine garland. It's 2.7 meters um, because I wanted to do a DIY garland for myself. So when I don't know whether to do that on the vlog or do it as a like proper DIY video. So I'm thinking I might do a proper DIY like Christmassy decor video. So I might save it for that. And I don't know whether I'm going to use some of those pick things. I don't know if that's the word for them, but that's what I'm calling them. In this garland. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. But they had 40% off if you were a member of Spotlight Crew. Oh, I've just played Casey. I'll just pause her. Um, so yeah, they had 40% off this Jolly and Joy range. So this came down a fair bit, which was quite good. I got this which is the same brand it's called metallic bead garland so it's literally just all of these beads um, and this is to bead through the garland um, like the tree garland so I just thought they were cute and they came down a fair bit as well because it was 40% off this I am obsessed with it is a sparkly white tree like this is just stunning oh my god 
This wasn't on sale, but as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. You can't really see how glittery and like gorgeous it is, but the whole thing is quite sparkly. It's just like a cone, basically. Um, and I think this was $16. So yeah, this one wasn't on sale because it is a different like range. It's more of the decor range. Um, but yeah, I had to have it for the beauty room because it's amazing and I just really think it suits my style. So I am in love with that. And then the last things I got are just two sets of these um, mini copper bows. Um, I think I'm just going to put these either through the garland and on the tree or just on the garland or just on the tree. I haven't decided yet. So yeah, these are only like $3 and then I got 40% off that so they were super affordable. So I got two of those and that's about it. I got some stuff from Big W, just um, some like pajamas and stuff for my goddaughter for her birthday, which is on Sunday. So I do need to, oh, I don't really have like birthday wrapping paper. I only have Christmas wrapping paper. But I need to wrap her present up because I will be seeing her tomorrow. I'm gonna just relax for a little while. I'm gonna have a shower soon because I have like glitter all over my face from shopping in the glittery sections. Um, and yeah, I'm just so tired already. I might need like a nana nap and then I'll be good to go for the rest of the night. Party on, on my, on my own. So I'm having just easy oven dinner and for anyone who is wondering what like easy quick food is for vegetarians, um, I like things like this. These are the Linda McCartney's vegetarian sausage rolls. They're also actually vegan. Um, so if you're a vegan, you can also eat these. So yeah, I love having these in my freezer just for nights like tonight when I'm on my own. And I don't feel like cooking anything because it's extremely hot. Oh, look at this. This is not vegan. It is vegetarian, but it's not vegan. It is Cole's candy cane flavored ice cream. Vanilla and peppermint flavored ice cream with mint candy pieces. Oh my goodness. guys I'm gonna end the vlog here oh, does anyone get cysts on their head I have like two I have one over here somewhere and there's one like down lower oh there it is yeah it's like down here they're only tiny but like I always touch them and feel them and like pick out them it's so weird. I watched the Santa Claus there and I just tidied up the lounge room, tidied up all those boxes that were sitting there so it looks so much nicer. Um, I just have to move some stuff downstairs into storage and then I'm done. Um, I've had the worst headache tonight. Like, I, I think most of you know this, but I suffer from chronic tension headaches. Um, so, Chronic meaning every single day. I will pretty much have a headache without fail. Just depends what kind of scale they're on. Some days they're okay. Some days they're really, 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 really bad. Um, today is not really, really, really bad, but this afternoon and like tonight, I think it's just because it's so hot today that oh, my arm can't last long holding the camera. I think it's because it's just so hot that my head is just aching really bad. Um, I actually have a referral to go and see a different neurologist. I saw a neurologist about three or four years ago for this problem after having like um, an MRI, a CAT scan, x-rays, you know, tried all of these different things to see what was wrong with me. Um, and the only answer we like ended up getting was that I am too stressed, which is like, well... I manage my stress now better than I ever have, but I'm still getting them and it's like, well. So my doctor wants to sort it out. I'm on medication to like prevent them, 
um, I take Darolin, if anyone knows of that medication. Um, it's called Darolin or Indoral or Propranolol. I can always give you guys like all the names of the medications because I work in um, a dispensary in a pharmacy. But yeah, I take one of those twice a day to um, prevent them, which has helped a lot since I've been on them. Um, but I do still get them. So yeah, I'm going to book in to see this neurologist. He's like at St. Vincent Hospital in Sydney. Um, and it's probably going to cost me like 300 freaking dollars to see him. So yeah, hopefully I can get more of an answer though. Yeah, so just had a headache tonight and I just didn't really feel great. But yeah, um, at the moment I have gotten into bed. I'm just about to watch Casey's first day of Vlogmas. Um, there's her and Nugget. Nugget is one of her dogs and he hates me. Like, I'm the biggest dog lover in the world. Animal lover in general. And he hates me every time I like go to patty me. Like, he just growls at me and he like wants to bite me. I'm like, oh, oh I just want to love you, Nugget. But her other dog, Lily, loves me. So that's all right. We just have to keep Nugget away because otherwise he'll like tear my feet apart. <laughs> No, not really, but he just doesn't really like me. But yeah, I'm going to watch Casey's vlog. Really hope you guys enjoyed this longer vlog today. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I really hope you guys liked it anyway. And I will see you in the morning for Vlogmas Day 3, which 3 is my favorite number. So let's hope it's a bloody good day. Okay, good night guys. Bye.